Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Today I am drawing my character uh, in Ava and Rivera as uh, Princess Leia from Star Wars. Uh, I mean, did I do that wrong? Probably so, I don't know. I, I don't really care either. But um, yeah, so in Ava and Rivera, aka or her nickname for short is Ava as Princess Leia from Star Wars. Um, <clears throat> This is going to be interesting. Um, just like the previous video where I drew my character, um, uh, the Adam Moore, no, AKA the AD as, um, Han Solo. Pretty much, um, I, I worked on these, I worked on these designs last year, you know, hold on, man, look like in this joint. Uh, I worked on these, I worked on these, these designs last year, but, um, kind of ran, ran out of time had a couple of things going on around that time of the year but um so when i first started drawing this uh pretty much trying to add in the actual detail lines and stuff you know like finish work uh I, midway you know i'm just drawing it trying to like make it better than how I, how i already like drew it you know um, I don't believe there's a such thing as perfection, but I do believe in progress. So, you know, I decided it to, you know, touch, touch on it a little bit more. And it's weird because, you know, you would normally think all you have to do is trace and that'll be the end of it. But mm, doesn't necessarily work like that. Uh, this is me trying to like get the leg right. Uh, I've never personally drew dresses on female characters before or in fact dresses in general uh, even when I did it was kind of simple a simple stance and stuff like that but when I found the issue of drawing like loose clothing dresses and stuff especially when you try to make the pose more dynamic um, I don't want to say that because it's hard to like signify like hips booty ass you know calves cankles you know stuff like that when the person is wearing a dress I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure other people I've seen it done in anime where they're able to translate it well you know and like that nice gesture to it but for me it was pretty difficult trying to figure it out that's why you see me now changing up the pose um, I was really trying to kind of <laughs> I was really trying to um I guess um, I don't know, like whenever I draw anything, I always try to, I go off how I feel about the picture. You know, like, uh, does it feel right? Does it seem right? And you know, if it don't, of course I scrap it and I just start all over. But if I do like it, you know, I, you know, of course I continue, but sometimes I have stuff that I continue to work on that I don't like, but then I find myself, you know, um, taking a break and then coming back with like, you know coming back with like a new set of eyes and just oh okay i actually like it this way you know and then i just keep it pushing pretty much and uh as you can tell uh I, my head is in the way but you know still as you can tell here i was having problem with the booty you like like I was, I was literally trying to get that booty right like like making it crisp you know what i'm saying you know <laughs> but uh i was definitely having problems with that Uh, I honestly, I think I think all the women in my group they have better dynamic poses than the males. Uh, don't know why, but I actually like the women gesture drawings of them cosplaying Star Wars characters better better than my male characters. Don't get me wrong, I you know I work on each picture individually like just as hard. You know I put the time in. It's just that I I don't know, man. The bitches look bad, right? <laughs> Just saying, like they look bad, you know. Yeah. The the couple of people who have seen the finished product for this, they are just like, "Yo, man, that's tight," you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know they they like the fat Princess Leia actually has booty, you know. Yeah, you know I had the uh, um, you know I I gave Princess uh, Leia the um. <laughs> subscribe and hit that bell notification down there at the bottom 
uh, it would definitely benefit me a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. For all who did do that. And also, by the way, uh, I want to say I'm on other social media platforms as well. We're talking about Twitter, in, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok as well. Um, you know, definitely get at your boy. You know, send me a friend request. Follow. You know, and also, I definitely do go live all the time on uh, TikTok. I'm trying to start to make time for Facebook and IG, though. But enough of that. Let's get back to the video. I gave her the character with the hips and booty, you know, so it definitely finished product do, do look good though. Still getting there though. Like I try to give myself the benefit of the doubt. I never try to go in assuming that whatever you know, whenever my pen touched the tablet thinking Oh, this is gonna be the finished product. I never do that. No, no, no. I go in with an ideal. As I draw this ideal, I, I sometimes I discover other ideals while I'm working. Like, you know what? No, scrap that. Let's add this right here. You know, um, that's why in most of my sketches, you might see me go from red, blue, back to red, the blue. Now you know when I'm sticking with a pose. When you start seeing that that black. Yeah, that that color when I start lining, you know, drawing, like yeah, you know, I'm I'm serious about a pose. Then like, oh, that's locked in, you know. I even had to look up an image on how to draw that freaking gun. My bad guys, I'm kind of coming over something here. Um, I came from vacation with the family and then caught something and I'm still trying to recover. Uh, hence the reason I haven't really been too fixated on trying to go live, you know. So um, I'm starting to get back into the groove of things finally. man trying to re reposition all this stuff man that that freaking foot was really messing with me that foot was real deal messing with me i remember that yep you see there you go you see that black that mean i'm serious man i mean business always I don't know why this song is in my head though, but watching this time lapse go through, it, it, it definitely like like the song in my head right now. For those who might know, I was getting some, getting getting some. Everybody know this explicit version. I was getting some head, getting getting some head. I don't know why that song is in my head. I, I really don't know why. That's old school, old school skating rink music right there. Have I been talking away from the mic this whole entire time? Oh God. Mm. Let's see how this edit go about then. <clears throat> <laughs> Bring out the line tool. The only time you see me ever use that line tool is when I know I can't draw a straight line. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever see me pull out that line tool, it's because there's gonna be a actual like straight line being drawn somewhere, you know, and I, I know I don't have the steady hand for it. I, I just don't. And you know, it's weird. I remember growing up people used to really judge artists because if you couldn't write if you couldn't write or if you couldn't draw a straight line you can draw but you can't draw a straight line bro well, come on chill out man you can draw but you can't write bro come on man chill out bro ain't this serious man 
But like I said, I, I definitely like the outcome of this picture right here. You know, <clears throat> like I said, the people that have seen this, seen the finished product already, they have said they like this version better, you know. Yep, going out with the character sheets, which I definitely need to try to redo. I definitely need to try to redo those character sheets. Uh, they're they're a little old because those were the very first character sheets I designed when I first decided to go for, you know, push on forward with uh, a crisis as, crisis as my number one comic book series first. You know, so um, it was pretty crazy on that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Three. Unpack comics.